If you're thinking about buying hybrid cookware, but you aren't sure whether to buy Hexclad or Anilon X, this video is for you. Although both have stainless steel and non-stick coating integrated into their cooking surfaces, there are some key differences between the two that you should know before deciding which to buy. Let's get right into it. Hexclad pans feature a network of stainless steel peaks and non-stick valleys that form tiny hexagons. This pattern goes up the pan's sides, ending with a solid steel band around the rim. The idea behind this design is that the steel peaks don't allow spatulas, tongs, and forks to touch the non-stick coating. So you can cook with metal utensils without scratching and ruining the pan. Anilon X has a similar design, but with a few key differences. With Hexclad, the top layer of steel is laser etched to create the steel peaks. Anilon X's design is created by fusing a steel mesh into the nonstick coating. Unlike Hexclad, Anilon's steel mesh is only on the flat part of the cooking surface. It doesn't extend throughout, so there's no protection from scratching if you accidentally scrape the walls. Another difference is the level of texture. You can feel the gritty texture if you rub your hand over Hexclad. Anilon's mesh has a subtle texture, but the steel is not raised as high. Lastly, the steel pattern on Anilon pans exposes more non-stick coating than Hexclad. This, along with the flatter mesh, makes Anilon X more likely to scratch. Another difference is the handle design. Hexclad handles are round, which makes them comfortable, but I've noticed my hands slipping several times as I slid food onto a plate. If your hands are greasy or wet, or you're holding a towel or a pot holder, there's a high risk that the handle will rotate. Anilon X handles are flat on the top and bottom with a slight curve to rest your thumb. This design provides a more secure grip and reduces the risk of the pan rotating in your hand. Another feature I really like about Anilon X handles is the flush rivets. Unlike Hexclad, which has standard rivets that protrude out, interrupt the cooking surface, and collect oil and grime, Anilon X rivets are flat. I conducted my standard heat conduction and retention tests with both pans. I'll link to the full details in the description of this video, but the short summary is that both pans distribute heat evenly, but Anilon X pans heat slightly faster, while Hexclad pans retain heat better. I wasn't surprised by these results because Hexclad pans are thicker and heavier than Anilon, and thicker cookware generally heats slower but retains heat better. I've been testing Hexclad and Anilon X in the kitchen, and overall I'm pleased with both. Both pans cook more like non-stick than stainless steel, but since the cooking surfaces aren't completely smooth, they grip and sear meat better than a traditional non-stick pan. I've used Hexclad and Anilon X to cook bacon, chicken, pancakes, vegetables, and more. Both pans heat up quickly, maintain a stable temperature, and deliver consistent results. However, cooking eggs in both pans is tricky. Eggs will stick if you don't properly grease the pans. You can get away without oil or butter with a traditional non-stick pan, but that's not the case with these hybrid pans. Eggs stick less when the surfaces are properly greased. You can slide a spatula underneath the eggs and flip them without much of an issue. However, Hexclad surface is a bit slicker than Anilon X. As you can see, when I shake the Hexclad pan, the eggs loosen and move slightly. When I shake the Anilon X pan, the eggs remain in place. Unlike traditional nonstick pans that allow the oil to run to the edges, Anilon claims that its design helps keep oil directly under the food, resulting in less sticking, more even caramelization, and a better sear. I tested this claim by pouring oil into a hot Anilon X pan, and the mesh does keep the oil in the center. You can tilt the pan to spread the oil across the cooking surface evenly, but it doesn't immediately run to the edges and leave the center dry. Although the oil moved slightly off-center in the Hexclad pan, it was still easy to control and coat the entire surface evenly. Last but not least is the price. Hexclad pans are significantly more expensive than Anilon X. Expect to pay between 40 and 80% more for Hexclad, depending on the product. Although they look similar, Producing fully clad stainless steel pans with laser etched steel ridges throughout is more costly than installing a stainless steel mesh on top of an aluminum pan. If you're convinced that hybrid cookware is right for you, I recommend Hexclad over Anilon X for a few reasons. First, the fully clad stainless steel base is thicker so it retains heat better. Second, the stainless steel hexagons protect the entire pan, not just the flat cooking surface. Lastly, I've had better luck cooking eggs in a hexclad pan. I also noticed a quality issue with Anilon X. The steel base plate on the pan I bought isn't completely sealed all the way around. Although this doesn't impact performance right now, it could break off in the future and it makes me question Anilon's quality control. 
If this video was helpful, check out this in-depth review of Hexclad, where I dive deeper into the pros and cons. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.